In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Isaiah chapter 35, verses 8 through 10, where I'll answer the question, what is the way of holiness? Isaiah 35, verses 8 through 10 says, And a highway shall be there, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. It shall belong to those who walk on the way. Even if there are fools, they shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Isaiah had just finished sharing a condemnation that the Lord has for the nations of the earth, that the Lord is fed up with the wickedness inherent in the nations, and that he is going to crush all of the nations that are godless, that are worshiping idols, that fail to serve him. And it's after this condemnation of all these different nations that are around, that there is this element of hope that Isaiah shares with the people. It's this element of hope that while there is coming a time when not just the nations around Israel, but Israel and Judah themselves, they too will be crushed in the Lord's wrath, but that there will be a ransoming that the Lord does, that he will call his people back from the nations and the road that they will travel will be this way of holiness. Here are three thoughts from Isaiah 35, verses eight through 10, answering the question, what is the way of holiness? Thought number one, highway of repentance. It seems like this way of holiness is the path that those whom the Lord is ransoming will walk back to Zion. And this gets a partial fulfillment in the people of Israel returning from exile in Babylon. But it gets an even fuller fulfillment in the great path of redemption that is given to us in Jesus Christ. This is a highway of repentance where people are returning to the Lord, where they are acknowledging their sinfulness, they are admitting to it, and they are repenting from it. They are turning from their wicked ways in order to follow the Lord faithfully. This is the way of holiness. Thought number two, protected path. On this path, on this road, there are no wild animals. There are no hunters seeking to devour the people who are walking upon it. This means that this is a protected path that those who are engaging in repentance, those who the Lord is ransoming and bringing back into Zion, they will be protected from wherever it is that they are coming until they have returned to the Lord's great mountain. It's a picture of the Lord's protection and provision for his people, that although the way may seem perilous and difficult, that he will provide for them the things that they need, whether it is provision or if it is protection from the various dangers that exist in the world. The Lord is going to protect those who walk on this way of holiness. Thought number three, joyous road. Those who walk along this path of repentance, those who journey on this way of holiness, those who are walking on this highway of repentance, they are rejoicing as they go. They are celebrating the great things that God has done. And they recognize that the Lord is forgiving as they are repenting of their sins, that he is ushering them back into his kingdom. And this is a beautiful thing, something that prompts joy and song, that the people are rejoicing as they go back to the land of promise. They rejoice as they go back into the arms of their creator. And this is the way that we go back into the arms 
of our Heavenly Father. We do so with joy and with song, with celebration at what the Lord has accomplished for us in Christ Jesus. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Isaiah chapters 34 through 39. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the description, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.